good news over at Pima Athletics. All sports are intact for the foreseeable future. Athletics Director Jim Monaco making that announcement Monday night at an informational meeting over at the Pima College District Office. Monaco took over the athletics program after the sport he coached football had to be cut in 2018. The school has decided to stick with the 16 sports it currently has through at least the end of next school year. It gives that respite for our athletes who are here now that play spring sports. They know they get to complete their sophomore year here, which means they get to graduate. And as far as what has to happen between now and the end of the 2021 school year for Pima to avoid cutting additional sports? We have to get money into the athletic department and we do that through student fees, which means we have to increase enrollment. And there you have it, more kids go to Pima. Two sports not on the shopping block, women's and men's basketball hosting Arizona Western Monday over at the West Gymnasium. Ladies were up three with six seconds left. Matador has a chance to tie and force overtime, but Miranda's Alyssa Perez hijacks the inbound pass. One of her five steals on the night to go along with 12 points. The 11th ranked women win at 72-67 to move to 6-3. and three. And I caught up with the ladies head coach, Todd Holdhouse, who is also the Aztecs assistant director of athletics, about that decision not to cut any more sports. Being a junior, junior college kid myself, I always feel like it was, without it, I wouldn't be where I am. And so I just want kids to have opportunities, and now we get to give them those opportunities for at least another year. So I'm, I'm proud of that. And is there anything better than a Pima hoop sweep? I think not. The men who are at 4-4 four and four and currently unranked win tonight 87-79. Kalen Tippins out of Choya getting the land there. Aztecs leading scorer Rashad Smith. He's headed to GCU, the three ball. He had 23 points and then Smith igniting the transition. First to 100, right? Didn't quite get there tonight, but Jake Leaford on the other end there. He's out of Scottsdale, Saguaro. He had 21 points tonight. Pima now 3-2 in conference play.